In this clip, we're going to look at how the member directory works. Uh, to access the member directory, you need to go to the member directory link in the top navigation bar and give it a click, and that will take you through to the member directory. In this particular example, we have set up the directory such that it is password protected and only members of the society can see the other members' details when they're logged in. It's up to you. You can choose to have it as an open directory, but in this example, it's password protected. So the first thing a member needs to do is they go to the directory and they need to log in. They can either log in using the login here or here. It doesn't matter. They're both the same. And to log in, they enter their email address, which in this case is demo user. And they enter their password, which is also demo user and click login. And what that does is that then unlocks the member directory for them to look for other members. You can find other members simply by browsing through. This function at the top lets you change from page to page. Alternatively, if you wanted to find a member specifically, you use the search area. You can put in, for example, the first name of the person you're looking for, their last name, or in this example, we've set up a schoolhouse, and this becomes a drop down function where you can choose a house from the school. This could be a division or a region or however your golf society is organized into sections uh, and that's pre-configured at the beginning. But in this example, we're going to look for somebody called James Rogers. So we're going to start off by just putting James into the first name field and click find. And that will then return results of everybody called James in the society. And then we have James Abel, James Birthwell and the person we're looking for, James Rogers. Equally, we could have entered into the last name field, Rogers, and click Find. And once more, it will find everybody with the surname of Rogers. In this instance, there's only one. Or finally, uh, because we know we're at school with James and he was in Jennings House, we can go down to the list of school houses choose Jennings and click find and that will bring us all of the people who are in Jennings house. And in this instance it was James Rogers who we were looking for so we click on James's name and that will give us his profile information. So we have his name, we have his schoolhouse, we have his email address, his telephone number, his handicap and the golf club at which he's a member. This information can be customized, but in this case, this is the information that we've made available for the members to view. So if I want to get in touch with James, I can either telephone him on one of these telephone numbers, or I could cut and paste his email address and put it into my normal email program. Or finally, if I wanted to, I could simply click on this little send an email link, and that will also open my normal email program and send him an email. So very straightforward to find other members, you can use the search function and then you get through to view their profile. So that's other members. Now, the next bit we're going to look at, if we click on member directory, is updating your own information. So notice that we're now logged in over here. Our name appears as demo user and there's a view profile button just like there was before. But when we click on it now, we have a new button appears, which is edit profile. This didn't appear on the other people's profiles clearly but on our own profile we can click edit and this now changes the view of the profile and unlocks it. So you can now go in to any of the fields on the data table and update it. The first thing you notice is there's an image. At the moment we've got a little graphic which represents a, a human but it's not a photograph of us. And you can add a photograph of yourself so that others looking through the member directory will recognize you. So we don't have an image here. So if we simply click update image, it opens a screen where we can go and choose a picture and update and upload it to the site. So click choose file. It takes us onto our computer. We're going to choose our photograph. In this case, we've got a picture of Rory and we click upload image and that then brings up the picture. Now the system is looking for us to 
use a square and as you can see it's chosen the top left hand corner which isn't particularly representative so you can use the controls to bring this over your face and make it a bit bigger and there we go we're happy that that's the picture we want so you click crop image and that will cut out that little bit that we wanted and then we can close that down and now we've got our picture in our profile and you can see the little picture appears up in the top alongside our name in the directory uh, other things we can change so this first field is how you'd like to be known as in the society you can put anything you want in here uh, your name your initials if you happen to have a title or a decoration that can go on there then you've got your first name your surname your schoolhouse so if we've got this wrong you can change your house a biography you can put a little bit of information here about yourself what you do what you've done since you left school where you currently work it's entirely up to you your email address now the users can self-update their email address this is this is really useful if you're a society organizer one of the most difficult things is keeping your database up to date with this your your members simply go in and update their details if they change their telephone number or they change their address they can go in and edit it the first field we have here is called their telephone number and this is the main contact number and everybody will have a main contact number and then they can add other numbers in this case we've allowed them to add a mobile number which happens to be the same number here there's a little button here called hide from public if the member didn't want this particular number to be shown to the fellow members of the society they can click that which means the number is still available to an administrator if they need to find the number but it's hidden from the other members and then the address and you notice that when we viewed a profile this wasn't shown this address is kept hidden in this instance but it could be shown all the fields it's completely flexible up to the society how you want to display information uh, coming down you can add your Facebook profile your Twitter profile and then we've got a section for golfing but handicap the club that you're a member of and we can add multiple clubs in some societies you have members who are members of more than one golf club that can be added and finally the password if you want to change the password you do it here and then once you've finished your amendments and updates click update profile and you've now saved the changes so demo user now has a shiny photograph so that's how members use the member directory to find other members and to update their information